Greetings. Try me now and see if I won't open the windows of heaven and pour you up a blessing that you would not have room enough to store such a blessing. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to provoke you to think. That's what I'm going to do by showing you that if you truly comprehend this scripture, that your life will change forever. And it will change from generation to generation to generation. And that is why I will go deeper into the Bible and break this down more perfectly with those who are willing to join my Free Thinkers and Seekers University. Because I'm going to teach you about generational wealth. And I'm going to do it scripturally, biblically. Also, for those who might not be interested, you can get this book, How to Open the Floodgates of Abundance. Okay, written by me. And so, my brother, my sisters, if you be honest and just use some basic common sense, okay, for years, upon years, upon years, people have been going to their different churches and they've been paying one tenth of their earning, which they refer to as tithes. And they claim that they are bringing in the storehouse of God what needs to be placed in God's storehouse, okay? Yet, if you've been honest, I've never seen God return back his promise or his favor to these people. And so, in my own life, having been brainwashed as a little child based on my culture whereby once you enter the school system in the morning you have to say praise in the afternoon you have to say praise before lunch and after lunch you have to say praise again and then in the evening before you leave to go home you have to say praise again so religion is also intermingled in the school system in the Caribbean and so I was raised to believe in a Lord, a God, a Savior outside of myself. I've been taught to believe in giving one tenth to God so that I would not live a life of course, uh, a life, uh, a course life, I should say. Okay. Therefore, if God is infallible, omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent, and God is perfect, then God must stand by his promises or by his words based on what we were fed through Christianity and all the other religions of the world, okay? Now, you're told that the windows of heaven will be open. And you'll be poured out a blessing that you would not have room enough to store that blessing. Yet when we look around, we see the people that have the most money in the world. The people who have had the most inventions in the world. We see the people who run the world and who make this world a better place. We see their light have shined. And all could see their light. But for the people who take the Bible as literal and secular history and who believe that the Bible is speaking about people who existed thousands of years ago or uh, it is speaking about events that would have taken place on earth thousands of years ago. These are the people who give praise to God for the blessings of the different material things 
that they would ever achieve in their lives. And these material things comes from the mind of thinkers like myself, people who do not have the same belief like them. So I'm saying, for this to make sense, it could only be done by your action, by what you produce, by your contribution to humanity, your contribution to society. How are you helping to uplift and raise the vibration and frequency on this planet? What have you done lately? Have you been doing the work of God? Sharing a chuck is not doing the work of God. So my brother and my sister, I'm doing this video based on the way how I was raised, based on the society that I grew up in, where people call me crazy and they'll think I lost my mind because I do not believe the Bible the same way that they believe the Bible. And so my brother and my sisters, this is just for you to think. That's all I'm doing this video for, for you to really think. And as a matter of fact, all the videos that I've been doing is to get people to really, really, really sit down and think. If this scripture is the way how it's been interpreted, then the richest people in this entire world must be religious people. It must be the Christians that must rule and run this world. If that scripture is exactly the way how they have been interpreting it for so many years. If only the pastor or the bishop is the one who can own private jet. And God favor them and bless them so much to give them the, the private jet and the family, family, family. Then such a God is impartial. Are uh, partial, I should say. Such a God must be partial. Such a God must be prejudiced. But I'm saying, the God that is in me and everyone else is impartial. We all have been given the same power to create. And we, we all have been given what we refer to as the same 24 hours. Yes, I know time is an illusion, no all of that. But you get the message I'm trying to get across to you. So, my brother and my sisters, I want you to make the right choice. To go more deeper into this scripture and understand it from a metaphysical standpoint, from an esoteric standpoint, from a psychological standpoint. Understand it from one in whom the windows of heaven have been opened up to. You see, when you read of Solomon, you realize that Solomon didn't ask the riches. Solomon asked for wisdom and understanding to rule. You see, Solomon is son man. Is the son in man. That inner intelligence in man. And if you look at the solar system, the solar system is no different to your inner system. Okay? The Akashic record is no different to the reticular activating system that you have in your head. And I can go on and on and on and on. But my brother and my sister, I want you to think. Really think. Especially if you have a, a religious background. Also, if you listen to me and you have a Caribbean background, you know everything that I'm saying is the truth in which the way how we've been raised and the things that we were taught to believe. You know that. And I want you to really think. I want you to really think. Because in short, what I'm trying to get across to you is that your belief system can either keep you in poverty, mediocrity, scarcity and most of our mental slavery our belief system can set you free and you're the only one who can emancipate yourself from every form of mental slavery and you can inherit the right 
to abundance and prosperity. Moreover, you will know how to create generational wealth. That's why I'm going to take that scripture and let it make sense to you. So if you're not a part of my Fritangle and Seekers University, I'm begging you to be a part of it. I already have a crash course day and I'll definitely encourage you to make your comments and ask your questions and ask of me to speak on certain things. You can go into the Bible and ask me to speak on certain things and that is where what I would do. Also, that, they, they, that university is where I would feel more free to really go into the Bible and do serious Bible study with you because it is very much time consuming to do so. And you see, when you pay, you will definitely pay attention because you see, many people value money and you're not going to take your money and throw it away. Okay? So I'm encouraging you to invest in yourself so we can have some real common sense Bible study. Okay? So... With that being said, my brother, my sisters, I really want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to encourage you also to get my latest book, The Secret Vagina, Mystery of the Virgin Birth. Because if you really understand what I'm saying in that book, you will definitely understand the Immaculate Conception and you will realize that you can bring forth outside of sex. Because most people only know pregnancy in the physical realm but not in the psychological and spiritual realm and the bringing forth of a baby or a child. People only see a baby and a child as in this form only. They do not see all the great inventions. Okay? So, <laughs> my baby making so much a noise. I want to come to you. I want to say to you, uh, if this is the very first time you're listening to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense, if it really resonates with you and you have a subscriber, I really want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, uh, to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, if you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. If you'd like to be a part of my page and community, you're most welcome. And I have a course that is called The Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And along with that is a bonus course and self-concept. But whatsoever maybe your desire i would definitely encourage you to check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do so with that being said my brother and my sister i just want to say peace love you all um, um. out